the circuit breaker in stock market part 1 Let's consider a stock trading at $500. One fine day some investors start selling the stock which caused panic and everyone went into a selling frenzy. Soon the stock price came down to $50. Maybe this isn't even the stock's fair value, but because of panic selling, the stock lost 90% of its value. Is this fair? What do you think? Shouldn't there be any mechanism to stop this? Well, we do have something known as a circuit breaker in the stock market and in this video we will talk about it in detail. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is a circuit breaker? In an electrical system you'll often see that there are circuits that cut off the electricity supply if the voltage increases threshold such mechanisms are put in place protecting the entire system from sudden mishaps in the stock market too we have something known as a circuit breaker and as the name suggests it breaks that is temporarily slows down the circuit that is the trading of the stocks you might ask why does this happen well it's to prevent panic selling stocks within a very short period say within minutes so circuit breakers stop trading for a specified period so the accurate information can flow into the market within that time so that speculations stop history in 1987 the dow jones industrial average a market index of the us stock market crashed almost 22% in true trading sessions followed by a complete market crash It was the first time they introduced the concept of circuit breakers in the US stock market. Then in 2013, the SEC introduced new rules for market-wide circuit breakers. The S&P 500 was chosen as the new benchmark of the circuit breakers. So they would use the index previous day's closing price to calculate the decline which would trigger the circuit breaker. By the way, circuit breakers prevent panic selling of stocks. There is also something known as circuit filters which prevent an unreasonable rise in stock prices by panic buying. But we limit this video to circuit breakers for now. Why is circuit breaker needed? Let's take the example again. Say there is a stock worth $500 and one fine day investors just started selling the stock and the price stock fell to $50. This low price might reflect something other than the stock's fundamental value usually derived from the financial statements growth perspective etc what this will do that it will cause every investor to look at the stock with a negative bias as all they'll see is that the price is just falling now apply this to the entire market and just imagine how unfair it would be to allow investors to hammer the stocks even if there is no viable reason for the same That's why circuit breakers are needed to pause the game, give market participants time to absorb everything and decide whether to keep panic selling or buy the stock up. This will be all for this video on circuit breakers in the stock market. Watch out for the part 2 on this topic as we'll get more technical. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like and share it with someone who might find it useful. We'll see you in the next one.